Dante, the divisional newcomers in black. Those are the kicks that I was talking about from Green. Now, Volante has a lot of power, and he knows how to get through these things. He's got a lot of experience, too, so do not think that he can't just launch one or two punches and knock out Green, too. Oh, absolutely. Listen, he's definitely got the power, just as Safarovic Safarov, if I'm pronouncing that Nailed right. It. But Jean Volante said, I've got to jab my way and get on the inside, beat up the legs. Because, of course, Maurice with that 80-inch reach advantage, you know, that, that's a problem for anybody. How about that elbow by Green? Though? Yeah. Volante's last fight against Mikhail Oleksiejuk was all the way back in February of 2019. Got dropped with a body shot right, that night. Fingers. You can see here Volante is looking to explode with the right hand. He's just trying to get in range. Maurice is keeping him at bay, jabbing at the legs, jabbing at the face. You know, but Volante is just waiting to, he's waiting for the perfect opportunity to just explode with two punches. He's being nice and patient, he's not rushing his way in, Volante, keeping his defense up. That's what you gotta do if you're facing somebody at this size. Work your way in slowly, don't just rush in, because he's so long. Ooh, see how high that knee came up? I mean, that wasn't even effort for, for Maurice. He just came so easy to the, the head level of Volante. Nice front kick there from Mo Green. 90 seconds gone by here, round one. Maurice Green plans to move to New Mexico with his children if all goes well here tonight, right after the fight. How about Tanner Bowser earlier, eh? Calling out Maurice Green. Yes. That's the way to pick your shots. Also throwing a little shade, saying he saw him having beers at the pool. So Maurice clearly enjoyed himself this week, but so far, Fingers. he looks Fingers. good inside the octagon. If he can piece together some punches after he kicks the leg, I think that's his way in. Oh, came upstairs. A lot of high-level experience for Volante at 205 pounds against the likes of Ovin St. Peru, Lear Latifi. Stop Corey Anderson back in 2015. I mean, that was a block kick, and it moved him a lot. That is a, I mean, those are some heavy shots thrown. Like, yeah, but you gotta be careful. Big kicks like that against such a big man, they can easily break your forearm. <laughs> Now, I'm not suggesting you don't block it. <laughs> you definitely want to block it, but I'm just saying it can damage the arm. Inside leg kick is there for Volante. Yeah, it's nice work. He's finding the home. I think Maurice is definitely feeling those. And Volante's not taking a ton of shots to the head either. Most of them have been teep kicks to the legs and the body, so Green's trying to soften him up too. And it is. Those leg kicks are adding up. Watch the fingers. <laughs> Oh, that was a nice kick by Volante. I hurt him a little. Yeah, he's kicking he felt that he's backing up. You can yes, see. I hurt his body. Look, his body language. It's completely changed for a second there. He's, the expression on the face. He was in pain. Volante knows. I mean, all this experience, you're seeing it right now. He's staying very calm and he's taking his time working his way into that pocket where he wants to be. Yeah, well, as you said, Dom. Maurice is, you know, he's just throwing those shots at the legs and, you know, they're not particularly devastating blows. So, on the outside, Volante is just, you know, he's taking his time, he's being methodical, he's like, listen, I can take these all day long. Yeah. A lot of the time when people, they do push kicks to the stomach. If it's a push kick, they don't hurt, they just keep distance. If it's a snap kick, if it's a real, like, karate-style snap kick to the midsection, they can drop you, they can put you on your knees. But these things, oh, look at that. Now Volante is going for it. So now he's starting to receive the punch and then fire back. I mean, that's a good way in as well. Very smart by Volante. I mean, this is a, a lot of leg kicks on this play. Well, the work rate of, of Green has been much higher than Volante right now, but we'll see how that adds up in the second round. All right, both fighters had their moments early. Round two. Yours Looking down at it before the round starts. It's just annoying stuff like that. It just kind of takes you off your focus every now and then in these I gotta, fights. I gotta say, tremendous corner work though. I mean, that is the way to get your fighter fired up. It's like, what are you waiting for? Because as, as I said earlier, he is waiting for the perfect opportunity. And like his cornerman said, you know, when he did connect with him, when he landed that body kick, for sure he got a reaction. And, you know, when he swings, Volante's got heavy hands, but you gotta use them. That was Keith Trimble, Belmore Kickboxing Academy there in the corner of John Volante. And if Thank you've you, seen John. Volante's career,
Trimble's always calling for more work with that jab, and that was certainly the primary component of that message after round one. The other thing I'm noticing is that Volante's seeing everything that Green is throwing. It's it's not really surprising him. He's seeing most of it. He's just not able to work past it yet because it's so he's so far away. After oh, oh, nice oh, oh, that was close. He's got those eyes of a middle linebacker. Yeah, if he lands one of those, it's over. That is a big punch that Volante just threw. Oh, that one hurt him. That's 18 leg kicks. I mean, that's a lot, uh, you know, with those legs getting, kicking you, kicking you. Oh, that was a good combination. Nice combos. Maurice turning it on there. Green got up a cut, knee up the middle. Green is picking up the pace. He's using the jab more. All his combinations are flowing very well. He's fighting a very smart fight right now. <laughs> Volante loaded up on the right hand just out of range. But a definite uptick in the output for Mo Green here early round two. There it is. That's exactly what his coach said. Sorry, I forgot his name already, John. But that's what he said. He said he's terrified. When you let your hands go, he's terrified. Now, I don't know if he's terrified, but he certainly reacts. <laughs> That's a leg kick right there. Oh, yeah. for Volante. That was a heavy one, right with the shear, nearly at the top of the knee. Those ones really hurt. I think we're going to see Volante start to really turn up the pressure now and start landing his own stuff, as we're seeing now. There's two minutes left in this round, and that's a long time if Volante can keep that pressure moving forward. you got to keep Green on his heels. You only got half a fight left. He said he was going to beat up the legs, and he's certainly doing that. Good fine right now. Yeah. Oh! Volante goes high, partially lands. That's the way to catch him on guard. Big jab lands right on the nose. Volante eats it, walks away. Oh! Man, these are good kicks. Well, Volante said he needed to dictate the pace. He has done that over the last couple minutes. He's dictated the pace. He's controlled the action in the octagon. He's standing in the center. He's got Maurice on the back foot now with the kicks. So it's been largely a kickboxing match thus far. Green with some glory kickboxing experience. But neither party has chosen to wrestle at all tonight. Oh, look at that. Nicely timed. Now, I think if Green would just follow up with a little bit more combinations, he'd do a little bit better. But he's eating these leg kicks moving backwards right now. Inside and out for Volante down the stretch here, round two. Volante, when he gets the opportunity, he's got to let go with more than one shot because the first one doesn't land, the second one might land, the third one will for sure. He just needs to put them together. Morning from right, guys, Mark be careful. Smith, Tommy, but perhaps not wanting to totally inject himself into the fight. He does not take a point. That could have been a game changer. That point deduction. Well, in a three-round fight, it always is. That's what he's been waiting for. Perfectly timed. This is a heavy He's in a bad position. He's back right now. It looks like Blanca is going to finish this. Wow. He's going to This man is hard. He's not going to stop. Green better get up. It's going to be over right now. Crushing elbows from Blanca.